Fifth Avenue is the, the king of boulevards. It's with the scale, the um, dimension of the, not only the sidewalk, but the street itself, the four or five lanes of traffic allow, because it's wide, light comes into Fifth Avenue in a different way than it did on the narrower streets, like Sixth Avenue and Madison and Lexington. Those were narrow streets. So they were always a little darker, and they didn't allow for as much pedestrian activity. So Fifth Avenue was the core. But off of Fifth Avenue, there are little boutique streets. There's one street that's only um, diamond and jewelry dealers. So you know on that street you're going to get the Hasidim with their big fur hats and their long, you know, funny, the payas and their, and their, their long coats. And suddenly you're in a shtetl in Poland. And then there's another street that's a restaurant street. So you're going to get limos pulling out there with swells getting out of the car with their dames, you know, for lunch. And so streets had um, identities separate from Fifth Avenue. So they were the tributaries off the river. And you just kept on going when you felt like it. And in terms of going at a pace, fast or slow, meditative or jazzy, um, the day determined that. A windy, driven day in the wintertime, you might be, you know, everybody's bundled up, head down, they're, they're making a beeline, and you're faster because you want to stay warm. A summer day, everybody's naked on the street, and they're just, clothes are clinging to every curve, you see through people's clothing, you kind of dawdle, it's, it's tropical. New York is, New York is tropical, it's on the Gulf Stream. You know, it comes up from the Caribbean and it washes over New York and you can smell the Caribbean in days in the summertime. And so it becomes languid and sexy. and You just are shaped by the seasons and the temperament of the street on any given day. So if you yield to that, you are the street. And if you are the street, then you're going to be um, a more integrated part of the entire process of witnessing, visualizing, photographing, embracing. It's a very generous medium, photography. You just have to learn how to, how to be it, how to be part of it.